Hello everyone, welcome to Anchor Training. Today we will see what is bug triage or defect triage and triage meeting importance and who will participate in that meeting. Before we can continue, you should know what is a bug or a defect, what is a defect life cycle or bug life cycle, what is the priority and what is the severity of the bug. We have left the links to these topics in the video description. So let's move into the agenda. The agenda of this video is what is bug triage or defect triage, importance of bug triage, actions performed during the bug triage, roles and responsibility of the participants involved in the bug triage meeting, possible interview questions. What is a bug triage? Before we can go into this, we would like to understand what is the triage meaning. The word triage mostly used in the medicine. It is usually a quick chart on which patient to be treated first on the basis of the priority. This is a meeting happens between a doctor and a nurse. The severity of the illness or injury decides who will get the treatment first when you have limited resources. When I say limited resource, it is doctors and the equipment. In the same way, uh, when it comes to the software testing, whenever uh, the major release or sprint review is happening, QA will find many bugs. We have to prioritize the bugs which needs to be resolved quickly. So that is when the bug triage will come. What is bug triage? A bug triage is a process wherein the team knows about all the bugs at that point of time and each bug will be prioritized. Priority is uh, based on the severity. In the bug triage, multiple people are involved. This process is used typically in the larger projects. What is the importance of the bug triage? See, the bug triage is very important because at a given point of time, you may not have enough resources to fix all the bugs. And time also, you may not have the enough time. So now you have to decide which bugs can be fixed so that it will make a big impact to the product. To take an example, some bugs may take a small effort and they will impact big. Such bugs needs to be prioritized. Just for example, imagine a scenario where you have a login screen and login is happening, positive flow is working and when you give the invalid username and password, when you click login is not happening but error message is also not coming so that's a bug because it was in the requirement so now to fix it how much time it may take we few hours of effort from the developer and a few hours from a QA so that is a what is the impact so user will come to know that he, the username or password what he has given is not correct so such bug will be prioritized so and there the developer efforts will be uh, given to fix that bug so that it can have a big impact to the overall product. So such decisions are taken at the bug trials. And uh, once the decision is taken and action is also decided like who will fix the bug and how they will fix, when they will fix, meeting decides which bug will be fixed for this release and which bug will be postponed. There will be some of the bugs you, you may not have that much important, maybe some small alignment issues, color issues, okay, so these type of things may not have a big impact to the project, but you don't have enough resources to fix it for this release. So you can move them to the backlog and when the next sprint or next release is planned, so you can take it up and you can uh, start working on it. In the release notes, you can mention these were all the bugs still it is not at fixed. A good bug trials ends with a successful release. To say uh, a release was successful, so all the priority bugs are fixed. So bug trials meeting participants. This is usually also called as a trials team. These are the decision makers who will sit and will decide which bugs needs to be fixed uh, for the given release. The people who will participate in this bug trials meeting are test lead, project manager, development lead 
or if there are more development leads will be there business analyst and a scrum master if you are following the agile process so roles and responsibilities of each participant of the bug triage team is test lead his responsibility will be preparing a test report before the meeting begins each bug should have a priority and severity and when the meeting begins the discussion he will initiate and he will discuss on the bug what he thinks it's the most severe one and owns the bug trash meeting he is the key person in this meeting so he will uh, contribute major share project manager so he ensures the trash team is available with the details unblocks if there are any hurdles to resolve the bugs he manages the resources so if someone is required he will enable them or if required if the current team uh, is busy with doing something he can also bring the new resources into the team so that that can be fixed quickly and tested quickly as per the timeline and he also acts as a mediator between the members he make sure all planned bugs are resolved so in the bug trash you will plan okay these 10 bugs will take it and will resolve by this date and you will have to make sure that those bugs are resolved in that time development lead or leads if they are participating more than one they'll discuss the bugs in a technical aspect what is that bug why it has arisen so you will give a technical insight into that bug you will analyze the complexity in bug fixing so every bug fixed ha- will have a effort involved so you will identify oh this is a small fix we can do it makes a big impact oh this is a very complex so this can be fixed or cannot be fixed so those type of inputs he will give analyze the root cause of the bug and finally he estimates the effort for a planned bug fixing and gives the resolution date so that will help the release management okay when when you are planning to release to the uat or prod so that can be based on the dates given by the development lead business analyst so overall there are many bugs will be there out of which which will take the more priority which is may which bug by fixing which bug it will help the business and if you are in agile team you will have a scrum master and he helps in the bug assignment based on the resource availability how the bug triage process will execute so this is how as all the team members are gathered each bug is reviewed the bug name bug id bug description it is taken by the qa lead or a test lead and they'll do the assessment once they do the assessment then the bug will be assigned to a particular developer so four questions will be answered for each and every bug first question is is this a valid bug second question is is defect or is bug is worth to fix it when to fix the bug is it uh, going to be a current release or an extra release who will fix it so this is about a bug trash so please help us to help you how you can help us is add the comments if you agree or don't agree to any of these points and add the comment section if you have missed any say there may be few more points which could have been discussed in this video which you have not done add them in the comment section subscribe to this channel if you are first time visitor if you already visited and if you are liking this video share this video link with your friends and colleagues and going to the last topic interview questions possible interview questions on this topic or what is a bug trash or a defect trash who participates in the bug trash what is the outcome of a bug trash what are the roles of test lead project manager dev leads in the bug trials thank you very much for watching this video subscribe to our channel like us in the facebook like our facebook page follow us on the twitter and join our group in the linkedin thank you very much